Well, hello. Welcome again to part four of the Robin family story. So nice that you could join me. Well, today, hmm, I have a birthday bag here. Hmm, I wonder what's inside it. Do you like birthday surprises? Because that's what our first story will be about today. Well, I have a few cards. They're nice, aren't they, to receive on your birthday? What else is in here? Hmm. Oh, there's a box. There's a box. I wonder what's inside the box. <gasps> Some pretty jewellery. I like getting jewellery for my birthday. I wonder what you like receiving. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, what's this? Wow. A jar of blackberry jam. I wonder what that's going to be about today. Hmm. Oh, look, and there's also a candle. Who doesn't like candles on their birthday? Usually we put them on the birthday cake, don't we? And light them and sing happy birthday. Well, let's see what happens in our story today, shall we? Because the first story is called Birthday Robins. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Let's begin. Mr Rabbit gives Rolly and Rosemary a most delicious gift. Rolly Robin and his sister Rosemary were off to the woodland shops to do some secret shopping. What do you think Rolly would like for his birthday, Daddy? Rosemary had asked his father. What do you think Rosemary would like for her birthday, Mummy? Rolly had asked his mother. Mr and Mrs Robin had thought hard. Hmm. And just before the twins set off for the village, they came up with some useful ideas. At the shops, the two little Robins went their separate ways and were soon very busy indeed. Meanwhile, back at Tree Stump House, Mrs Robin finished icing the birthday cake and hid several birthday prettily wrapped parcels on top of her wardrobe, all ready for the great day. Happy birthday, Rolly, chirped Rosemary, hopping out of bed the next morning. Happy birthday to you too, her, birthday repl her brother replied a little sleepily. He was never as lively as his sister first thing, not even on birthday mornings. All the same, at the thought of birthday presents, he soon jumped out of bed. The two little robins scampered eagerly to the front door of Tree Stump House to answer Postman Starling's rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Postman's knocking, rat-a-tat-tat. Postman's knocking, rat-a-tat-tat. Postman's knocking, rat-a-tat-tat. He's at your door. Rolly answer, rat-a-tat-tat. Rolly answer, rat-a-tat-tat. Rolly answer, rat-a-tat-tat. He's at his door. Mm. And they thoroughly enjoyed opening the cards and parcels that had arrived. They were also very pleased with the presents each gave the other. A book on butterflies for Rolly and a skipping rope for Rosemary. They set off for school and all the way woodlanders wished the two little robins a happy day. And when they arrived at Miss Owl's school, Everyone sang happy birthday. Shall we sing happy birthday? Let's sing it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Rolly and Rosemary. Happy birthday to you. And again, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rolly and Rosemary. Happy birthday to you. Woo! So, are you and Rolly having a party when you get home this afternoon, young Rosemary? Old Mr Rabbit 
Miss Owl's gardener asked at lunchtime. When she nodded, he smiled. Well, don't you go a rushing off without seeing me first, he told her. So that afternoon, when school was over, Rosemary and Rowley went to find Mr Rabbit and were delighted when he gave them a basket filled with some of his very first strawberries. For your tea party, he explained, and how pleased the little robins and their party guests were. They all agreed that the strawberries were quite the nicest of birthday presents. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Do you like strawberries? Do you like other berries too? I had some blackberry jam in here because I went a picking it. <laughs> no, actually, that's not quite true. Ben and Ruth went picking blackberry jam the other day and bought me, not the jam, sorry, the blackberries. And they bought them back and I washed them and made some jam with them. And that brings me on to my next story, which I was going to tell you. Last one, and it's called The Mystery Trip. Hmm, I wonder where they're going. Rolly, Rosemary, called Richard Robin excitedly as soon as he saw his cousins waiting for him by the big oak on the way to school. You're not doing anything tomorrow, are you? On Saturday, asked Rosemary. No, I don't think so, are we, Rolly? Rolly shook his head. Oh, good, squeaked Richard. We're going out for the day and Mummy thought you'd like to come with us. Oh, that sounds fun, said Rolly. Where are you going? Richard chuckled. I don't know. It's a secret, but I think wherever it is, we'll be picking blackberries because Mummy's got her special basket out. The next morning, Rolly and Rosemary were ready and waiting for their aunt and uncle and their cousins, Richard and Rowena. Have a good time, cried Mrs. Rebecca Robin and Mr. Robin, who knew where they were going, because Mrs. Rosabella had telephoned him earlier that evening. We'll see you this evening. Rowley and Rosemary hopped into the back seat of Dr. Robbie's car and off they went. They travelled through the woodlands, along the lanes and right across the valley. Brum, 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 brum. At last they drew up at an ancient castle. Oh, cried Rosemary, I don't think I know. Oh, no, I know where we are. It's the castle that once belonged to Duchess Melanie Mallard. She used to go swimming in that lake. Yes, that's right, Rosemary, Mrs. Rosabella told her. But we're not doing going swimming. We're going to look round the castle, have our picnic lunch and then pick some blackberries. The little robins did enjoy visiting the castle. They saw the great banqueting hall where the Duchess used to have dinner and listen to musicians. Then they saw the pretty room where she would sit and sew. After that they walked round the battlements and thought what fun it must have been to live in the Duchess's castle. But I don't think she ever had a picnic or picked blackberries, smiled Dr Robbie. And the four little robins and Mrs Rosabella agreed that was that that was fun too. Do you enjoy picking blackberries? I bet you do when you can go off and get find some. You have to look hard for them, don't you? Well, that's all for today from Nanny. I hope you enjoy those stories. And if you haven't listened to the um, other three episodes, do find them on YouTube and watch them too. But otherwise, I will see you next time with part five of the Robin family stories. Bye for now. Bye bye.